Hello friends. Welcome to Audio Book Lab. Today we will be talking about the book Secrets of the Millionaire Mind written by T. Harv Eker. He says if your subconscious financial blueprint is not set for success, nothing you learn, nothing you know, and nothing you do will make much of a difference. What the author wants to teach in his book is how to master the inner game of money to win the outer game of money. How to think rich to get rich. The lesson is simple. If you want to move to a higher level of life, you have to be willing to let go of some of your old ways of thinking and adopt new ones. His book is split up in two parts. The first part is your money blueprint, which is about how we are conditioned concerning money. It's about why we are who we are. It's about our old way of thinking. Part two then is the wealth files. I. T is about how rich people think, act, and live. Basically, it's about our new way of thinking or how we should think if we want to become rich. If you are new to our channel, consider subscribing Audio Book Lab now and press the bell icon because this is the destination to learning growth and success. And if you like the video. Please share it with everyone. This video can help a lot of people changing their lives. Let's begin with summary your money blueprint. You can have all the knowledge and skills in the world, but if your blueprint isn't set for success, you're financially doomed. Who are you? How do you think? What are your habits and traits? How confident are you in yourself? Do you truly feel that you deserve wealth? What are your abilities? Can you act when you are not in the mood? We live in a world of cause and effect, basically who you are. That is, your inner world determines what you get. That is your outer world. So whatever results you get in any area of life, it is a mere result of you, your character. You're thinking your habits, whether it is how much money you have in your bank account or how healthy you feel or how you look like. It is always a result, a reflection of who you are. A lack of money is never, ever, ever a problem. A lack of money is merely a symptom of what is going on underneath. If you want to change your outer world a lack of money, in that case, you first need to change your inner world or what is going on underneath. Process of Manifestation Thoughts lead to feelings, feelings lead to actions. Actions lead to results. That's what Eagle calls the process of manifestation. So thoughts are at the root of every result. We depend on our parents for a very, very long time, we're all born helpless. So in a certain way, this programming as a necessity, but in the case of money, it is often a burden. That's where your money blueprint comes in. A blueprint in general as a preset plan or design. Let's take a blueprint for a house as an example. Before you build the house, you make an exact plan of what you want to build and then you build what you have planned. Your financial blueprint consists primarily of the information or programming you received in the past. And especially as a young child, mainly from our parents and siblings, but also friends, teachers or media. Your past conditioning determines every thought that bubbles up in your mind. That's why it's often referred to as the conditioned mind. The most important concern of secrets of the millionaire mind is that our mind is also conditioned in terms of money. First of all, we need to understand how we are conditioned. We are conditioned in three primary ways, verbal programming, modeling and specific incidents. Verbal programming. What did you hear about money, wealth and rich people when you were growing up? Save your money for a rainy day. Rich people are greedy. Money doesn't grow on trees. 
money doesn't buy happiness we can't afford it i am sure you heard at least one of them the problem is that all these statements remain in your subconscious mind as part of the blueprint that is running your financial life obviously such statements do not support your financial well-being modeling what did you see when you were young how did your parents manage money did money come easily in your family or was it always a struggle was money a source of joy in your household or the cause of bitter arguments all these things matter a lot because as kids we learn just about everything from modeling specific incidents what did you experience when you were young around money wealth and rich people may be a huge fight your parents had that seemingly led to the divorce maybe you can still hear your father swearing about a rich neighbor such experiences shape your beliefs you now live by in the second part of this book author talks about what to change and how to believe these are called wealth files well file number 1 rich people believe i create my life poor people believe life happens to me you have to believe that you are the one who creates your success that you were the one who creates your mediocrity and that you were the one creating your struggle around money and success consciously or unconsciously it's still you if you feel like life just happens to me i can't do anything about it then how are you going to change what kind of life do you live the life of absolutely no purpose completely unconsciously and meaningless you must realize that you are the creator you must sit at the steering wheel of your life you make the choices and you take responsibility for your life basically you are the boss of your life wealth file number to rich people play the money game to win poor people play the money game to not lose poor people's primary concern is survival and security instead of creating wealth and abundance the goal of truly rich people as to have massive wealth and abundance not just some money but lots of money if you want to get rich your goal has to be rich not to have enough to pay the bills and not just to have enough to be comfortable rich means rich wealth file number 3 rich people are committed to being rich poor people want to be rich the number one reason most people don't get what they want is that they don't know what they want ask yourself do you know what you want who do you want to be how do you want your life to look like why are you watching this video summary i guess you at least know the answer to the last question if we don't know what we want in life how are we going to get it we won't the truth however is that most people don't really want to be rich wave because they have a lot of negative wealth files in their subconscious mind that tell them there is something wrong with being rich wealth file number for rich people think big poor people think small it's important to know that four factors determine your value in the marketplace supply demand quality and quantity authors tells that the more you offer the more you get paid this is a fair law who do you think should be paid more a good lawyer or a bad lawyer a good soccer player or a bad soccer player a good actress or a poor actress the answers are obvious most people play small because they are scared of failure and they feel small and unworthy yet and that's what most people miss life is not only about ourselves life is also about contributing to others wealth file number 5 rich people focus on opportunities poor people focus on obstacles poor people's primary mindset as what if it doesn't work or more often it won't work 
rich people take responsibility for the results in their lives and act upon the mindset it will work because I will make it work rich. People expect to succeed, enter the corridor, and then correct along the way. So act and enter the corridor before you feel perfectly prepared. You will never be perfectly prepared. You can only learn from inside the business, not from the outside, and don't be the poor person who is still preparing. Planning, analyzing, and waiting wealth file number six rich people associate with positive, successful people. Poor people associate with negative or unsuccessful people. If you want to fly with the eagles, don't swim with the ducks. Why reinvent the wheel? The fastest and easiest way to create wealth is to learn exactly how rich people, who are the masters of money, play the game. If your goal is to be rich, then study rich people. Do what they do. There is a reason why they are rich. You have probably heard the saying. Birds of a feather flock together this city and basically says that people of the same kind often hang out together. People spend time with people who are similar. Wealth file number 7 rich people are bigger than their problems. Poor people are smaller than their problems. The size of the problem is never the issue. What matters is the size of you. If you have a big problem in your life, all that means is that you are a small person. Either you are whining about the problem or you are working on the solution. It's all about you. Whatever happens in your life, be it good or bad, interesting or boring, tough or easy, what matters is how you get affected by it. There are no problems. There are only situations. We then make them a problem. Well, file number 8 Rich people choose to get paid based on results. Poor people choose to get paid based on time. There is nothing wrong with getting a steady paycheck unless it interferes with your ability to earn what you are worth. If you choose to get paid for your time, you are pretty much killing your chances for wealth. If you want to become rich, Work for yourself or at least work on commission or percentage. That's the only way you can get paid based on results. Maybe it seems less safe, but it's certainly how you can earn more money. And it's the only way to get rich wealth. File number 9 Rich people focus on their net worth. Poor people focus on their working income. This may sound a bit well off or only for the rich but it is valid. There are four net worth factors, income savings, investments, and simplification. Rich people understand that building a high net worth as an equation that contains all four elements. We can raise our income, save more money, learn about investments, and also invest our money. And we can spend less money on our lifestyle to increase your wealth. You either have to earn more or live on less. Well, file number 10 rich people have their money, work hard for them. Poor people work hard for their money. The more your money works, the less you will have to work. The idea that you have to work hard to get rich as bogus what my money works for whom. Yes, that's right, your money works for you. The magic word is working smart. That's what rich people have mastered. They also work hard, but only temporarily. They work hard like everybody else, but they think long term, and what they do with their money is smart. They save it to invest it later. The second major source of passive income as business working for you hard work today. Smart work tomorrow and no work the day after tomorrow. Wealth file number 11 Rich people act in spite of fear. Poor people let fear stop them action as the bridge between the inner world and the outer world. Because we are creatures of habit. 
we need to practice acting in spite of fear, in spite of doubt, in spite of worry, in spite of uncertainty, in spite of inconvenience, in spite of discomfort, and even to practice acting when we are not in the mood to act. If you are willing to do only what's easy, life will be hard. But if you are willing to do what's hard, life will be easy. Wealth file number 12 Rich people constantly learn and grow poor people think they already know. Becoming rich isn't as much about getting rich financially as about whom you have to become. In character and mind, to get rich, getting rich is about who you have to become as a person to get rich. So we need to grow. I. If you are not growing, you are dying. The fastest way to get rich and stay rich is to work on developing you. The more you learn, the more you earn friends. If you want to change the fruits, you will first have to change the roots. If you want to change the visible, you must first change the invisible. We hope you liked the video. Hope you will use these techniques in your day-to-day -day life. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel must subscribe now. Don't forget to like and comment on the video. This will keep our motivation high. You can also follow us on Instagram. All links are available in the description. If you think this video can help others too, don't forget to